Hogan and Flair and Sid, the final three in the Royal Rumble. And yeah. Hogan is beating up Flair. Oh, my God. They're talking about the Royal Rumble footage? Yep. People nowadays make fun of WWE for piping in, you know, sound oh, or whatever. This. <laughs> this was the goddamn worst. Like, I don't even think they got an actual crowd. I think it was like Vince and Pat and Hina just go in the corner <laughs> and went, Boo! Boo! And they, they was like, fuck, what the fuck was this? It was so bad. It was horrible. So, so uh, Sid dumps out Hogan. Yeah. And if you look, you see the entire crowd they go, fucking go nuts. Yeah! Yeah, get rid of that old bald bastard. We hate that guy now. But they, they edited in some horrible boos and also. Horrible. Ho- also, horrible, like back of the hallway. Hogan. Hogan. Yeah, these. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Flair wins. He's the world champion now. And then is- the funny thing is, like, they, they, they piped in all the booing. And then when Flair threw out Sid, Flair also a heel. They just went back to the normal sound so you could hear all the fans cheering Flair winning. It was weird. So then they have a press conference. And this I remembered vividly. Because this is this is only a clip. There's like a longer oh, yeah. version. Yes. So they need a top contender for WrestleMania now. Ric Flair's the champion. We need a top contender for WrestleMania. So there is... I guess a press conference. It's a very crowded and tight. All these guys are sitting very close and cozy together. And Jack Tunney's at the podium. And one side I think is The Undertaker... And Roddy Piper, and the other side, it's Savage and Hogan and Sid. And Piper's up there because he's the Intercontinental Champion. But his body language and facial expression make it very clear he knows he is not getting the title shot. He's going to be defending at WrestleMania, not challenging. But Tony has this whole long speech about all these guys, all their credentials and all this. And he says, it is time to name the top contender. And uh, Sid has a huge smile, gives a big thumbs up. He begins to stand up. And Tony says, Hulk Hogan! Hogan's thrilled, Savage is bummed, and Sid is, well, psycho. He snaps, he's making fists, he like has paper in his hands, he's wadding up into a ball. And so, afterwards, Sid cuts a great promo. People remember Sid's dumb promos, or his silly promos, or his Bosch promos, or her, his War Life Pal promos. Man, when Sid was on, he was on. And this promo was awesome. He was the last man standing at the Royal Rumble. It's Hogan's fault he didn't win. Maybe he's not a big enough movie star. Maybe that's why he's not getting this title shot. Hogan, you can't beat Ric Flair in your best day. You can't beat me in my worst day. And he's storm- They actually cut him off like mid-sentence. Earlier today, a much more calm, serene Sid Justice apologizes to Hulk Hogan and everyone else for his behavior. behavior. Yeah. This was such a simple storyline. And then we have the best thing on the show. Sean Mooney is there to interview Hulk Hogan and Sid Justice, who are teaming up tonight. And he's in the middle, of course. They're on either side of him. And the two wrestlers calmly, gentlemanly shake hands. And Mooney is being all, you know, WWE announcer, over the top, boisterous. Tonight, Sid Justice, you are going to prove what a true friend can be. And he looks up at him, he's holding the mic, and Sid g- takes a breath and he says, and at that exact moment, Mooney turns away from him with that in mind, Hulkster. <laughs> Sid is frozen, he's left hanging, and he just shakes his head and walks away. Deceased. I was deceased watching this. I've passed on, I am no more, I'm off this mortal coil. I laughed so hard at that. It was perfect. Perfectly done. You know who, uh, you know who Sid is? And Sean will know because he's watching. He's Drew McIntyre. And in a lot of ways. He is he is a heel. He has been wronged. He is... Uh, he deserves the shot. Yes. It's actually exactly like... Uh, it, it really is. Like in the Big Lebowski. You're not wrong, dude. You're just an asshole. Yes. That's what it is. That's exactly right. Yes. So Hogan does his promo. By Hogan standards, it, 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 it's low-key. There are no puns this time. Low key. What about the steam coming off? Of well, him? he was literally steaming. Literally steam coming <laughs> off his body. That did happen. But I mean, uh, he says Sid has apologized. That's cool. I'm going to regain my title. We're going to win this tag match tonight. I got a little surprise. My friend to the end, walking me down to the ring. So it's Hogan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hogan and Sid versus Ric Flair and the Undertaker, and Hulk Hogan's surprise is the return of Rudis the Barber Beefcake. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. I assume for the first time since the parasailing accident. That ruined well, for face. sure it was. Yeah. So uh, he's got gear on, tennis shoes, no boots. But uh, it looks like Brutus Beefcake. And they explain in great detail how his face was blown apart and put back together, how terrible the whole thing was. And it was. <laughs> so they had the most simple match ever. Sid demands to start, does a hip toss, and tags out. So Hogan comes in. He demonstrated his power. Hogan comes in and does two hip tosses. Yes. Sid tags back in. Undertaker can't slam him, but he can slam the Undertaker. But Hogan tags in, and he hits two body slams. Sid is getting more and more annoyed. <laughs> Just more and more Because this fucking Hogan is an asshole. Yes. They cut Sid off, but Hogan makes a save. They double-team everyone and clear the ring together, but Hogan takes the center stage to pose. Now Sid's just pissed. Look at this asshole taking my spotlight. After commercial, uh, briefly the hit on Sid, but he has a double no he has a double noggin knocker, and that is the most calm tag you ever saw. Just reaches out, tags Hogan gently, and steps in the apron. They cut Hogan off, and he's crawling and dragging himself to that corner, and Sid is completely disinterested. You've... <laughs> Sid's facial expressions were so awesome. Sid was so great on the show. He was like, uh? Should I grab this rope? I, I, I'll grab the rope to make sure I'm ready to tag. Okay, hold yes. me, tag me. Oh, shoot, I am too late. Oh, shucks. I wanted to tag in so badly. This went on for a long time. More time than it needed to to make the point that Sid is obviously being a, an asshole here. And finally, Hogan gets so close to the corner that Sid cannot avoid the tag. And so Sid jumps down and walks out of the match. Beefcake is incensed. How dare you walk out on Hulk Hogan like this? He grabs Sid, spins him around. Yeah, how dare you, yeah. Sid? <laughs> Sid spins around, rears back for a punch. Beefcake flinches. Because if he gets punched, his head will, head will explode again. That's literally what the way they're saying on yeah. commentary. Yeah, yeah. If he gets hit, his head will, his, his face will shatter into a thousand pieces. Yes. So. I was like, that's pretty serious. So Beefcake pleads, please, Sid, you have to go help him. And Sid says he can help himself. He walks to the back. And so Beefcake can't do nothing. And Flair and Taker are double teaming Hogan. I'm thinking, okay. So Beefcake grabs a chair and hits him for the DQ. Nah! Even then, Hogan has to win. So Flair just grabs the ref, throws him down. Yes. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, this is still stopping a mud hole in Hogan. Beefcake hits the ring. And they're menacing him, but he can't do anything. So he ducks a punch. Hogan has recovered in five seconds. Hogan cleans house. And the music's playing, and Hogan's getting his wits about him, looks around, and he looks around, and there's no Sid. And he's playing to the back row, holds that hand way over his head to indicate his tall tag team partner is no longer around. He's very angry. And they cut to a young fan, about 12 or 13 years old, who's got a something like Sid Justice when he's heard or something. He tears that sign to shreds. <laughs> Heartbroken. <laughs> I loved this. I thought it was great. Like, as a wrestling match, nothing well, it was at all. nothing. It was nothing whatsoever. It was, it was a long angle in the ring. Yes. But as an angle in the ring, it was fantastic. Yes. It was an excellent, excellent turn is what it was. It was a it was a great story with a couple of bumps. It was perfect. <laughs> Mostly by flair. In fact, uh, almost uh, all, all, of, all of them. All of them, really. Yeah, pretty much. So in the, uh, the previous year in the Wrestling Observer Awards, Sid Justice won Most Overrated. Yes. 1991. Oh. This needs to be rescinded. He was beyond <laughs> perfect in this one. Well, that match. was a previous year, you see. I know. He's but turned I'm it saying, around. Like most improved should be 92. That's true. He was perfect. Like we make fun of Sid for like his promos and like jumping up and down on the Smash rental car and <laughs> WCW and all that fun stuff. Softball. This was the perfect. Just everything he did was so great, including the promo afterwards and. Yeah, his fake smiles and walking off. It was it was great. He needs to be commended. I'm pretty sure this Hogan is what drove him crazy and made him psycho. It might be. Because he still said justice here. That's right. Uh, Dave gave this two and one quarter stars. Generous. Sure. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.